So you want to unit test your repository class, but you're not exactly sure how it's best done. Typical pain points are what to test and how to write tests when you use EF core. It's super easy, but first let's walk through some of the classes that we will use. Here we have the SQL user repository, and this is the class that we want to write unit tests for. Whenever you give a GUID ID, you expect maybe to get a user back. And whenever you call get users async, you expect a list. When you call create user async with a user parameter, you would expect to get a Boolean back. So this is the interface that we want to test. You see that we have a dependency on the app DB context. This is just a regular DB context that anyone is using whenever they use EF core. And we see that it has the DB context non default constructor. So we take the DB context options. And this is very important whenever we want to do unit tests for a SQL repository that is using the DB context. The way I've set this unit test class up is with X unit. And what I do in the constructor is basically just to instantiate this app DB context. The app DB context is not the class we would want to test, but it is, however, required of us whenever we want an SQL user repository because we need to pass that in in the constructor. The way you can easily write unit test for a repository that is dependent on a DB context is to do this. You instantiate the DB context options builder and then you use in-memory database and you want to provide a GUID for this one. If you don't provide a GUID and you would say some string, then every test you have will be using the same or may be using the same uh, instance of this in-memory database. But when you provide a GUID, you make sure that each test you have will use its own database. To use in-memory database, you need to install the Microsoft Entity Framework core in memory, and that is all. So for the add user, we basically just instantiate the SQL user repository, pass in the context that we just created, we'll create a user and we will test the interface, you know, the interface of the class. And that is all. The only thing we're interested in is right here. And then we just assert everything went well. The same goes for get user, but this is slightly different because we want to set up DB context with an existing user. So that is what's happening here. We will just set it up. This is not really a part of testing the SQL user repository. This is just arranging uh, the test. The actual test is happening right here where we will test the interface of the SQL repository and we will just make sure that we actually do get a user back. The same goes for when you want to get all users, for example, you will be arranging your DB context, you will pass in the DB context to the SQL user and you will just test the interface of it. And that is seriously it. There is nothing more to it. So a bit of bonus information here. For the AppDB context, you can see it's marked internal. So it will be internal to the data layer project. The same goes for our SQL repository. It's also internal, but we are still using it in this project, data layer tests. The way I make that happen is through this one liner. So essentially what this is saying is whatever internal classes I have, I will make them visible to the data layer tests project. And that is it.